With the Game of Thrones Season 7 now finished, all eyes are now on Season 8. Our watch is just beginning. 1. The season likely won't premiere any sooner than August 2017, possibly later. Game of Thrones will begin filming in October, one month later than the show started filming for Season 7. We can use Season 7 as a benchmark for determining the earliest that Season 8 might premiere. Season 7 premiered in July after it started filming in September. So we can be pretty safe in guessing that Season 8 won't premiere any earlier than August 2018. Unfortunately, there have been a few rumors that it might premiere even later than that, possibly in 2019. 2. The scripts are already written for Season 8. Yes, the scripts for Season 8 are finished. We may not know when the season is premiering, but the ending has already been written. HBO programming president Casey Bloys confirmed back in July that the scripts were finished, Telegraph reported. He added, We haven't had that discussion yet because I don't know how long the episodes are going to be. Two hours per episode seems like it would be excessive, but it's a great show, so who knows? Right double quotation mark. We certainly hope the episodes are longer, since season 8 will only have six episodes total. 3. GRM told the showrunners how the series would conclude, including a shocking moment for the very end. Even though the TV series passed up the books after John's death in season 5, the showrunners do know how George Martin means for the series to end. So they may be taking some twists and turns, but in the end we'll see at least part of Martin's plan unfold. In 2016, EW reported that GRRM had shared three huge twists with the producers. Two years prior, David Benioff and Dan Weiss sat down with Martin in Santa Fe and he sketched out a rough plan of how he intended to end his books. The producers said that there were three shocking moments within that plan. The first was Stannis sacrificing Shireen. The second was Hodor. And the third is from the very end. Right double quotation mark. Of course, this doesn't mean all the details of the show will match the books. Martin told Hollywood Reporter in 2014 that he didn't have all the pieces of the puzzle in place yet when he met with the showrunners. He gave them broad strokes of his intentions, but the details aren't there yet. Right double quotation mark. 4. The books will still be very different from the shows. Martin still has two books left to finish in the series, and there will still be a lot of shocks and unexpected twists for readers that they won't find in the show. Even though Martin's rough plan is being followed, including his three big shocking revelations, the show has still diverged enough for the books to leave lots of room for new surprises for readers. When asked in 2016 if the show was going to spoil the books, Benioff told EW. So much of what we're doing diverges from the books at this point. And while there are certain key elements that will be the same, people are going to be very surprised when they read the books after the show. They're quite divergent in so many respects for the remainder of the show. Right double quotation mark. 5. After the series ends, we'll get at least one prequel spin-off. The series ends won't mean the end of Game of Thrones. Although the details seem to be constantly changing, we know there will be at least one spin-off of the beloved series on HBO. HBO brought on several writers to work on at least five spin-off scripts, and a number of them are collaborating with George R. R. Martin. Jane Goldman, one of the script writers, has said that the one she's working on will be recognizable past event to fans. All of the projects are spin-offs, but they won't all likely make it onto HBO. They're in development, but that doesn't mean they're guaranteed to air. Love.